Okay, it's time for the second part of my build series for my brand spanking new 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX. If you haven't seen the first part of this build series where I install the FMF pipe, fan kit, radiator guards, and seal savers, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. But in this video, which is the most important build video, is where I install the dual sport lighting kit so that I can make this bike street legal and get a plate for it. And I'll also be installing the hand guards with integrated turn signals. So let's get started. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Okay, first off, let's go over the parts here, which by the way, I'll include links to in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, the dual sport lighting kit includes the fender with the brake light already attached, comes with the wire harness, flash and relay, handlebar switch, brake switch, flush mount turn signals, front turn signals, on and off switch, mirror, uh, horn, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't come with really any hardware, so luckily I have my hardware here, which I'll include links to also in the description and comment section of this video. Um, these are stainless steel bolts, nuts, and washers, and these are uh, lock nuts too, which are really, really awesome. If you have a garage and you're working on your own bikes and stuff or doing stuff, you need to get this hardware kit, guys. I also have these Zeta hand guards with the side mounts. You definitely want to get the side mounts, guys, instead of using the ones that come with the hand guards. These are much better. Uh, makes the hand guards much stronger, solid. You don't have to keep adjusting them. And uh, I have this on my WR250R, and it's absolutely amazing. I have the hand shields with the integrated turn signals, and these are the smoke turn signals that I have here. And I have the uh, hand guard mirrors like I have on my WR250R. And also have the uh, Krieger tail pack here, that I, the same one I have on my WR250R that I absolutely love. It has a waterproof in insert inside. So anything you put in there keeps it waterproof and sealed. Absolutely excellent. Also, uh, thread locker. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, first thing is I have to move this tank over because I have to access the wire harness that's on this bike because I'm gonna run uh, this dual sport lighting kits wire harness along the, the same wire harness that's on the bike. So that way, because you wanna make sure it doesn't get any heat or any pinch points. Uh, so let's move this. All you have to do to remove the tank on this bike is just remove this nut and then lift this up. Okay, next you're going to locate um, the front and rear of the wire harness that comes with the kit. The rear is with the pink wires, see, very simple. Basically, we're just going to route it here along the wire harness you see is right here. So we're going to follow that same route. Just go ahead and put the tank back. back. Now the next step is to go ahead and install the rear fender back here. What's awesome about the YZ450FX, it has the same fender as the WR450F. It's got these three points here. So I'm gonna have to make a template. Okay, what I did is just take a piece of wax paper there and we'll mark the dot. Okay, it looks like it worked out pretty good. Look at it. So let me go ahead and install this tail pack here. Worked out pretty good, man. It was tough finding bolts to make it fit, but I got it done. Looks good here. Of course, uh, this isn't the final deal. I have to put some washers on these two 
and washers on these two screws here. Uh, but I had to take this off anyhow because I have to install the, uh, the flush mount turn signals and then route the wiring up top of the, uh, the fender. Okay, for these, the installation is really simple. You just remove this rubber backing piece here, use it as a template here, drill the two holes, and then you're just gonna go ahead and route the wiring through the hole, and then go ahead and tighten this up on the fender. It's all good, now I have to just put this back on the bike. Okay, fender's back on, everything's bolted up, locked tight. Everything looks good. Look at that. This fender ain't going nowhere. I don't care what motocross jumps I'm on. This thing is not coming off. It's on there. Solid. Now we just have to route the wires here. Look at that. It's got the perfect little notch there already set. Okay, I put all the bullet connectors on. Now it's time to put on the brake switch. Remove the top bolt and loosen the bottom bolt of the rear brake reservoir bracket so that you can have access to the banjo bolt. Remove the banjo bolt and washers and replace it with the brake switch and washers. Okay, I'm gonna have to bleed the brakes um, because some air got in there and the pedal soft. That's not a big deal. Now we need to route the brake switch here. So what I'm gonna do, you have to keep it away from the exhaust. So what I'm gonna do is put a zip tie here. And then I'm going to zip tie it right up here at this edge so that it doesn't come in contact with the exhaust and then along the rear subframe and then up through here. Now we got to put the switches on the bar. Have to relocate this, so I'm going to move this over here, and then move this to over here, and then I'm going to put the switch here. Okay, now you have to open up the control switch here and put these rubber pieces on the outer edges. Don't want to stay on there. Then the other one came off. Ah, I have zero patience for this. Shit. Honestly, this is the hardest part of this install, guys. This rubber pieces, it won't stay on at all. It won't stay on the track. It pops right off every time. This is taking the longest time. It's to hold me up. Why couldn't they have pre-installed these, glued them in or something? Why do I make us do that? I hate the wine, man, about it, but gosh, that's ridiculous. Out the wires out of the way. Okay, now I'll do the other side. Now as far as the horn, I'm going to install it here. Um, I'm going to use, this is going to go right underneath the fairing using the fairing bolt. It's time to install the hand guards with the integrated turn signals. I've already prepared the hardware here. As you can see, this is the throttle tube side when you have this clear washer here. First thing, we're going to install the side mounts here and basically you're just going to install these right here to take these bolts out and you're going to put these in with the longer bolts do the same for the other side and those are going to be the mounting points for the handguard bars okay i put the bracket on the other side now we need to modify the grips you want to cut out the center take exacto knife cut that out i'm just going to drill through it because it's tough there we go. Okay, you're gonna have to make sure you cut the edge of that grip off and also make sure you hollow out that tube enough. Uh, otherwise, the throttle tube can stick. See, it's good now. Now, just go ahead and tighten everything up and do the same for the other side. Okay, she's on there rock solid. All right, to put these smoke turn signals in is very easy. Remove that piece, stick this in the back here, and then put this over top, and then screw it down, that's it. All you gotta do is just put the two screw bolts here, screw it in. Just show you a little tip here. 
when routing the wire, you can actually put a zip tie in the crack there so it doesn't even show in the front. Okay, now to install the Power Mad handguard mirrors that you guys always ask me about with my WR250R. Very simple installation. You just take this bolt out and put their bolt in. This longer bolt here. Put on a washer and a lock nut, that's it. As you can see here, I always leave it in this position and if the bike ever falls, it just it just flips up, okay? Also, I forgot to take out the uh, the other two silver bolts. By the way, the Power Mad mirrors do come with uh, the, the two bolts, one long and one short, so you can replace these stupid silver bolts. Okay, now it's time to connect the, uh, the battery connection. So, man, it's been a long day, boy. I'll be glad when I'm done with this, man. As far as wiring, you're gonna connect the left turn signal red to the orange. You're gonna connect the right turn signal red to the blue. You can connect the, uh, the ground wires to the double ground wire connector here. And the pink, you're gonna connect to the brake light switch. Uh, there's no clarity to it. And the three prong connector that goes for the tail light. And here's the power wire here. I'm gonna hold off and do that last. I have to do the wiring up front. Okay, the front wiring is as follows. Connect the biggest connector first, which is the control switch as far as the blinkers. Left positive to the orange wire, right positive to the light blue wire. The white, dark blue, and black is for the headlight. I'll leave that alone until another video. The two red wires from the harness, which are for the on and off switch, go to the green and orange. The three pin connector, you connect the relay to that. And the green and red wires is for the horn. The red and the green here, these connect to the horn and there's no polarity with them. So now I'm gonna figure out how to get that down to the horn. It's not long enough, man. Okay, because the wire didn't extend all the way down to where the horn is, I went ahead and improvised and took a couple of pieces of wire uh, with some connectors on here, connected it and extended the wire out. Uh, so there we go, zip tied it to there. So this should work. And then we go to connect the power connection. Let's do it. On. Okay, tail light comes on like it's supposed to. Okay, left turn signal. Ah, corrected. See the front? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Right. Yep. And yep. Awesome. Okay, turn that off. We'll do horn. Yep. Okay, brake light. Yep. I'm leaving all the wiring like it is. I'm not gonna clean this up because I have a headlight coming from Amazon, a LED light. I'm gonna do an experimental uh, headlight. that has got 4,000 lumens. And I'm gonna cut a hole through the number plate. And I have two brackets that should go around these fork tubes and hold the light up and peek through the number plate. So that's going to be another video. Look forward to that. Also, I have the Supermoto wheels coming and the Shinko 705 tires. And I'm going to be making those wheels tubeless. And I'll show you how to do that. And hopefully it works out. Like I said, this is all an experiment, guys. And you know what? With all this like street stuff on here, all the stuff I added, it still comes in a little bit less than what I would have paid out the door for a Husky 501. The title is coming uh, within a couple of days and I should have this street legal hopefully by the end of the week and doing a first ride on this and doing some urban fookery. So stay tuned guys. Stay tuned for the, the build videos coming up. Uh, if you, like I said, links to all the stuff, all the mods here, at least most of the stuff, I include in, uh, links in the description and comment section of this video. Also my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my mods, and those are links to all the mods of all my bikes. And if you wanna get more of my gear, a lot of you guys keep asking me about my gear, my camo pants, my boots, gloves, helmet, all my 
stuff, you cycle cruiser, where'd you get this, where'd you get that? I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, but my website, if you click on the menu tab, my gear, there's a bunch of links to all of my gear, cameras and stuff. And if you wanna see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through and hopefully find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up guys, share this video, comment, really helps my videos. I hope this video helped you out guys. That's what my channel's all about, man. It's anything and everything motorcycles, guys. I love it all. I love super bikes. I love dirt bikes. I love dual sports. I even love that my Ducati X Diablo Cruiser that I used to have. I wish I'd never sold it, to be honest with you, man. I'm really missing that bike. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel, Book Out Moto. That showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos. Uh, anything and everything bug out moto as a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey hit the subscribe button I appreciate it take care